Two copper vessels A and B have the same base area but of different shapes. A takes twice the volume of water as that B requires to fill up to a common particular height. Correct statement. Pressure on the base area. So you see the pressure on base area is uh, actually dependent only on the height. So therefore here it's going to be rho g h. Okay, just the depth. So whether you know we have a tank of water at a depth h, whether we have an ocean of water, but at depth h, it's going to be the same you know if the if the atmospheric pressure is p naught at both the places so it's going to be p naught plus rho g h it's you know like same so it just depends upon the uh, water depth below okay so below the surface so therefore the pressure in the base area of the vessels a and b this is going to be the same so that's a is going to be the answer the second one no uh, no, it's not same. No, it is same. Both vessels A and B weigh the same. How? If it is having double the water, then uh, you know uh, it, it cannot weigh the same. Vessel B weighs twice that of A. Uh, A takes twice the volume of water. So how can B you know weigh twice? So we cannot you know tell about this but yes the a part is very clear and uh, we can even prove also okay so let us take mm, a column of water so we take a column of water like this so here the pressure is p naught so therefore the force is p naught into a here the force let us say it is p1 into a so if we draw the free body diagram of the column of water, it's going to be something like this. So this is uh, P naught into A. This is P one into A. And if this is H, so therefore this becomes, uh, you know, the weight down, it becomes H into a into rho into g so therefore p1 a is equal to p naught a plus rho g h into a. a a a is gone so therefore p1 is equal to p naught plus rho g h now this column of water which we are taking we we are taking in both okay so therefore again it's going to be the same thank you